Hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation. My name is Shubham Kamat from Garda Institute of Technology. The topic of our presentation is light transmitting concrete and my team members are Yash Bhatkar, Dharmaraj Bhui and Akhilesh Kalekar. This project is guided by Mr. V. S. Jadav, Department of Civil Engineering. So without wasting any further time, let's start the presentation. So let's start with the introduction. Translucent concrete is a concrete based building material having light transmissive property. Light transmitting property is mainly due to the uniform distribution of high numerical aperture plastic optical fibers that is POFs throughout its body. Hence it is also known to be transparent concrete that is Litracon. Litracon presents the concept of light transmitting concrete in the form of a widely applicable new building material. Now Litragon history. This product was invented by a Hungarian architect Aaron Lawson Z in 2001. He successfully produced the first transparent concrete block in 2003 and he named it as Litracon. In 2004, he started a German company named Litracon and started producing Litracon commercial. Now objectives of our project. To study the light guiding properties of light transmitting concrete. To compare the properties of conventional concrete with light transmitting concrete. To prepare 3D model of light transmitting concrete panel using any one software. Now the next slide will explain by Dharmaraj Bhui. My name is Dharmaraj Bhui from Garda Institute of Technology and I am going to discuss about the scope of the work. Uh, great insulating material. It is a great insulating material that protects against outdoor, outdoor extreme temperature while also leading in daylight. To light up, uh, it is used to illuminate underground buildings and structures such as subway station. Excellent, excellent compromise for building in harsh climate. And this makes it an excellent compromise for building in harsh climate. Uh, where it can shut out heat or cold without shutting the building from daylight will change the opacity of architecture. In the next few years, as an engineer further explore this exciting new material, it is sure to be employed in a variety of interesting ways that will change the opacity of architecture as we know it. Innumerable possibilities. The possibilities for translucent concrete are innumerable the more it is used, the more new uses will be discovered. Methodology Light Transmitting Concrete uh, First of all is the problem identification. We predict the problem that we are going to face while working on the project and we find the corresponding solution for same. Second one is the research. Collection of the research papers on light, light transmitting concrete, their information available on the web and refer the content from the previous projects and some literature papers. Uh, objectives. We decided our objectives for our study. Data analysis. Data analysis of the analysis of data collected from the research papers, webs, and from previous year projects. Study of light transmitting concrete. Uh, procedure of the light transmitting concrete. Application of light transmitting concrete. Examples of light transmitting concrete and 3D panels of the light transmitting concrete. Second is the comparison. Comparison in between the light transmitting concrete and conventional concrete with respect to the architecture point of view, cost point of view and environmental point of view. Hello friends, my name is Akhilesh Kaligar from Garda Institute of Technology. Uh, this is the literature review uh, related to our topic. Next uh, slide. Next slide is a principle of light transmitting concrete. Uh, translucent concrete works uh, have, uh, based on uh, nano optics. Fiber are placed directly on top of each other. Uh, fiber acts like slits and uh, carry lights uh, through it. Next is a material for uh, litragon. 
फर्स्ट मटेरियल इज सीमेंट ऑर्डिनरी पोर्टलैंड सीमेंट ओ पी सी इज यूज फॉर ट्रांसफर एंड कॉन्क्रीट सेकेंड इज सैंड दी साइज ऑफ सैंड शुड पास थ्रू वन पॉइंट वन एट एम एम सी थर्ड वन वॉटर वॉटर टू बी यूज फॉर ट्रांसफर एंड कॉन्क्रीट शुड बी शुड बी ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर क्वालिटी लास्ट वन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर थिकनेस ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स कैन बी वेरिड बिटवीन टू माइक्रोमीटर टू टू एम एम now we will see the procedure of casting the light transmitting concrete preparation of the mold preparation of the mold the specimen wooden mold because we have a uh, drill holes on the base of the mold to fix the optical fibers and uh, wooden uh, mold is uh, easy to prepare it's uh, overall economical second uh, step is fixing of optical fibers after uh, preparation of the mold uh, uh, preparation of the mold optical fibers place in the hole drill on the base of the mold uh, third step is concreting after concrete after placement of the optical fiber concrete is pour poured in the mold uh, concrete mix con uh, consist of mixture of the cement fine aggregate sand and water uh, fourth step dry, dry curing after concreting the uh, casted specimen is kept for uh, dry curing for 24 hours uh, fifth step uh, removing the mold after dry curing for 24 hours the specimen is removed from the mold uh, from the mold uh, uh, last one uh, uh, wet curing specimen is cured in the water tank or curing tank for 7 days 14 days and 28 days respectively uh, last is cutting and finishing after complete the curing uh, of the specimen the surface of the specimen is polished with the help of uh, uh, with the help of grinder now uh, yash bhatkar will be explain the next slide my name is yash bhatkar from Khadra Institute of Technology. Now we will see the advantages of light transmitting concrete. Energy saving can be done by utilization of transparent concrete in buildings. It has a very good architecture properties for giving good aesthetical view to the building. It is homogeneous in nature. It has finishing surface. Routine maintenance not required. Now next slide. of the disadvantages of light transmitting concrete light transmitting concrete is a very costly due to the optical fiber casting of transparent concrete block is very difficult it's a pre cast product it cannot be casted on site so if the site is far from the manufacturing factory transportation cost may affect it after that examples of light transmitting concrete Italian Pavilion The Italian Pavilion located in Expo Park Shanghai architecture was a uh, Giam Polo uh, Imbrigi Sapienza University of Rome Area was 3600 meter square and height of 18 meter Construction system in was a rectangular box with square base 3774 panels of transparent cement for a total surface of 1877 meter square equivalent to 40% of the total area of a outer structure project starts in 2007 Pro project complete in 2010 second the europe gate the europe gate located in komorom hungary dimension 3.5 meter by 3.5 meter architecture was aaron lawson g and oras lavadas the europe gate is a sculpture made out from out of litragon or light transmitting concrete the sun illuminates the 37.6 feet larger litragon piece of the sculpt stage statue 
in the morning and the late afternoon and by the night and even more impressive we can see because of the embedded light source project complete in 2004 third example sela sapigora museum located in hungary architecture was batman architects area was 50 square meters material was glass optical fiber project start in 2005 project completed in 2006 now dharmaraj will explain next slide application of light transmitted concrete in the first image we can see here it is used for the decorative purpose and also uh, interior design purpose it is used in the first image we can see here it is used for interior design purpose uh, it is used for tier staircase as a aesthetic function it it is it is usually has a partition wall with transparency can be utilized where daylight doesn't reach properly to use highlighting the roads at night in roadways to watch your pavement shine at the time of sunset Now Shubham Kamat will explain the next slide. We have prepared light transmitting concrete panel in SketchUp Pro 2020. In first image, we have prepared 3D model of light transmitting concrete. And in second image, the light source is just behind the 3D panel. And in third image, we can see the 3D model of light transmitting concrete and the light source is just behind the 3D model. Now the comparison between the conventional concrete and light transmitting concrete. In conventional concrete, optical fibers are not placed in concrete mix, while in light transmitting concrete, optical fibers are placed in concrete mix. Uh, conventional concrete is less costly as compared to the light transmitting concrete, while Light transmitting concrete is very costly as compared to the conventional concrete. The compressive strength is less as compared to the light transmitting concrete. And uh, the compressive strength is more as compared to the conventional concrete. Conventional concrete is not used for decorative purposes, while light transmitting concrete is used for decorative purposes. Conventional concrete doesn't have light transmitting property while light transmitting concrete has light transmissive property. Conventional concrete is not a green building material, while light transmitting concrete is a green building material. Now conclusion. Littrecon is an emerging trade in concrete technology. It's considered as a special concrete which ensures future benefits. Its initial cost is high, but routine maintenance is not required. And in long run, it may be advantageous. It's a green building material, reducing the light cost during daytime. It's proved to good both aesthetic appearance and structural stability. If the price of the product gets reduced, it is sure that the future construction industry will be in the hands of Litrecon. Now, these are the references. Thank you so much.